Mr. Smith, how did you meet the plaintiff? The plaintiff was a friend of a friend. Approximately three years ago, my cat needed uh, babysitting, so I initiated her. I re-met her again a year ago. And when you say you initiated something a year ago, tell me what it was that you initiated. I had purchased a 100-year-old house, and I was conversing with my friends, and she was present about the problems I was having with uh, fixing the house up. I had hired an inspector, but he didn't do a good job. I needed plumbing, a roof, electrical. There was no foundation on my house. Were you living there? I was residing there, yes. With all those things not being there, no foundation, no plumbing, nothing. They were operational, but not totally functional. Now we're going to get back how you came to her to help you with all these problems. Stop playing with the papers. There are more papers there than in the Supreme Court. <laughs> He's got a long history, Your Honor, sorry. Uh, this is going to be very short, trust me. I hired, <laughs> I hired an agent to do, redo the roof, which I knew needed. She offered to do it. She said she was a contractor. She said she, she offered a... to do the roof herself or to... That's what she offered with a crew of hers. With um, a crew? Correct. But she doesn't have a contractor's license, and she's been on disability since 1992. And I gave her a small portion of the job to put in a solar tube light in the roof. Did you hire her Stop to do the roof job? The... I did pay her, yes. How much? About $25,000. To act as a GC, general contractor, getting crews to do things in the house? Yes, ma'am. Do you acknowledge, Ms. Smith, that you were paid to do some GC work, general contracting work in his house? No, I was not, Your Honor. You were never paid? I reimbursed employees that uh, Just... He... Don't try to double talk me. Were you ever paid by Mr. Smith for work that you or crews hired by you did on his house? No, Your Honor. He, I helped him hire the people. He said he needed people, and he wanted me to oversee the workers for work on his house. I did not employ him myself. He did. Just a second. I got it. I got it. I got her. I got it. I got her. How much do you get from disability a month? Come I don't get Come on. disability. You don't get any kind of disability. Be very careful. You don't no, get any do kind not. of disability. I, I had what? disability. I've been, that's why I met Mr. Smith. Just a second. I asked you a okay. question. What year did you start to collect disability? I was injured at one time in 1992. Oh, 1992. Mm -hmm. In what year, which is even more interesting, did you stop collecting disability? 2015. So according to you, until shortly before you started to do work for him, you were collecting disability. I did not so, work. Just to now tell me why your disability benefits were cut off last year. That has nothing to do with this case. Oh, it has everything to do with this case. It has everything to do with your last answer. Because when I ask you, well, you paid money to GC, and you start dancing around because if you were paid $25,000 to GC a project, even though you paid other people, then you committed fraud on the federal government. They're going to come no. looking for you. It has everything to do with this case. You want to tell me why your disability was stopped? If it was. I had nothing to do with my case with him. Really? Your case is he... dismissed. You may be hustling for a long time, Ms. Smith, but you don't hustle me. You don't <laughs> hustle me. You don't answer my questions, your case is dismissed. Now, according to you, you let her stay in the house while she was doing some GC work on the house. She yes. said, she of course said in her now dismissed claim that she was a renter and you illegally evicted her and therefore she wants $5,000. That's what her case was about that no, I've just disposed of. Now we're going to get to your counterclaim. The counterclaim says that she proceeded to, after her keys were taken away, to engage in a course of conduct that was harassment. And at one point, she broke into your house and assaulted you. You want to tell me about it? I allowed her to stay in the room as a guest. She lived 40 miles away. I was trying to help her. She had lack of assets. And she disappeared for three weeks, and uh, there was a foul order coming from the room. When was this? Give me the month. December. Uh, sorry, November. Okay. Uh, I entered the room. I found stolen property of mine, an old flight suit, camera lenses, dog tags, seven pairs of scissors. It was a total mess. I decided at this point in time that she had been gone for three weeks with no communication. Perhaps it was time I changed the locks. She arrives home. She doesn't even try the lock. She climbs under the house where the foundation wasn't yet, into the basement, into the kitchen, upstairs, pummeled me, grabbed my laptop, and ran away. Did you call the police? Yes, ma'am. you have a police report? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to take a look at it. I'll provide you with all the, the police. No, don't give me everything. Just give me the first police report when she came in. Okay. And came into the house. 